mason jar. Yeah, the solution. Anna Helm Baxter is uh, she's an editor of Women's Day, the food editor there, and she's joining us with four different ways to have breakfast in a jar. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Breakfast can be really challenging yep. for many people in the morning, and that leads to one of two things typically. Either you buy something on the way to work, which could be expensive, yep. may or may not be healthy, or you skip breakfast entirely and then find yourself mid-morning ravenous and yeah, willing really to eat the first Guilty. thing that comes across your desk. So All you right. have a grab-and-go parfait that we're going to start off right, with right so these here. are fruit and oat jars um, which we're going to make and what okay. I love most about these is that they're no cook and so you can make a whole load of these and have them in your fridge Fantastic. for the week and then it's just grab-and-go in Let's your purse. Start. They're flexible, they're customizable okay. so we're going to add some yogurt. Uh -huh. All right. I'm going to hand this to you in a minute. So is that like Greek yogurt that you're Greek putting in yogurt, there? Greek yogurt, but you could use any yogurt that These you like. These are rolled oats that you have on the bottom? Rolled oats. Again, okay. you can use... Wait, uh, so you don't cook those first? You just put them on to like... No, that? it's going to soak. So you're going to give it 15 minutes oh, of liquid. Okay. okay. So add some blueberries. All there right, you go. The blueberries, you know. I'm going to do some pomegranate. Okay. And then, again, like these are super customizable. So you could add, you know, any, any fruit, vegetable okay. that you want. Right. Great. Exactly. Raw vegetable. Just exactly. Throw in here, <laughs> and, then, and then at chia this seeds. point, you can add what I like to call like nutritional boosters. So chia seeds, flax seeds is another one. There you go. Okay. Thank you so much. And then much. at this point, this is when you would put the lid on, put it in the fridge, and you could make these the week ahead. Okay. And then you you're going to the add milk. Yeah. Or almond milk. Or even juice, water, if you're watching your calories. Yeah. And, and then, then the you're going to give this a good shake. Okay. We'll give this one a good shake. Okay, the good. And then breakfast is served. Okay. It's ready. Just like that. Right there, just like that. That's great. Give it 15 minutes to absorb. You can do it the night before or just up to 15 All right. Minutes Let's talk about another smoothie that we're making over so here. So, for many people, the reason that they skip breakfast in the first place is because they just can't stomach food in the morning. And that's yeah. where a smoothie is a great option. Okay. And what I like about smoothies over juices is that they have uh, all that pulp that's in there. And there's fiber and nutrients in the pulp that you miss when you juice. So, these are three simple ingredients that you're putting into this smoothie. You're putting yogurt once again. Blackberries. Blackberries and, and walnuts. Okay. And these are frozen blackberries. And when you're transporting a smoothie, it's better to use frozen fruit it's rather than tip. fresh fruit and ice. It's, it's less uh. likely to separate. Okay. And the great thing that people don't think about with smoothies is you can add a lot of things to smoothies and not even know they're there. See, like I would the spinach think and the nuts. Yeah, but I think you need a blender for this. You do need a blender, and so it's it's a, you'd make it and then screw the top on and then take it with you. Okay. Oh, now, I see what now you're this saying. This doesn't right keep there. in the fridge per se, like like the other stuff, right? No, you'd be better to make this one in the morning. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Make that one in the morning, grab and go. You said, exactly, and, grab and, and do go. the cold, cold uh, frozen. Frozen Blackberries. Eggs. That's yeah. a good, good tip. Let's yeah. talk about eggs because I love eggs. So just because you're having breakfast in a jar uh -huh. doesn't mean you have to give up your traditional favorite. So okay. this is the classic bacon, egg, and cheese. Wow. Okay. So we've got two eggs in the jar. Okay. And then I'm going to add some spinach into the jar. Lovely. Some salt. Nice. You can add some cheese. Wait, are you going to microwave it just, just in that thing? And then this is going to microwave, yeah. No so way. And you just yeah. shake it. Well, you, so you can't shake oh, it. Oh, so you shake it and then you take the That's lid off, right? That's how you scramble. Yeah, you got to take okay. the lid off. Make sure you do Obviously. that. And the eggs won't get all funky, you know, No, this No, this these were done in the microwave just before the segment. Right. And then because you're skipping out on that, you know, carb heavy bread and yeah. um, or bagel that you would normally have and you'll feel sick. So we've got extra toppings. So flavor boosters, tomatoes, bacon, scallions, cheese that you can add up. To Fantastic. Really quickly cooking. right there. What are you doing? Grain bowls. These are a favorite in the Women's Day Test Kitchen. People don't think about having grains for breakfast, but why not? Just make extra the night before or, you know, make ahead and freeze them and then just top it up with these are leftovers from last night's dinner. You okay. can add it. When you say grains, what grains do you suggest? This is quinoa, but we like like whole grains because they have all the nutrition intact with them. Wow. So spelt, kamut, things like that. Kamut, I never tried it yet. It's delicious. All right, I will. Right. Anna Hell, thank you so much. Thank Anna Hell Baxter from Women's Day, thank you for your great ideas. And we will be trying this because we like things that are grab and go here on the yeah. show. Simple, easy to do. I love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. All right, well, there is this new list out of the top baby names, okay? And it doesn't look like parents are influenced by TV shows and movies this year. We're going to run down the list coming up. I looked at the list. I was like, wow, this is crazy. It's different. No more Joe. 